Well, welcome back. Another video, a Christmas video. This is um, the first ever Christmas video that I've, I've actually done. I was out last um, last New Year, I think it was, with Andy, Andy outdoors. We did um, we did like a kind of a New Year's January video, but never at Christmas. So yeah, and I'm out with uh, Rick T again. Yeah, right. And Billy, he's here. <laughs> what have you got? What are you, what are you doing there, pal? <laughs> So uh, yeah, we're going to do a hammock camp and uh, a bit of ground dwelling as well we're going to do. So we're going to uh, have a nice little fire just around this area and uh, as you can see, Rick's getting ready for a tarp, setting a tarp up there. We'll gather some wood and we'll have a bit of fun. We've got some nice food on the go as well tonight. So we'll get, uh, we'll get cracking. We'll see you in a bit. Look at this, I'm faffing about making videos and Rick's doing artwork. So, uh, what are you using here? Is it a uh, British, British Army basher, is it, Rick? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I've had it a long time. Yeah. A long time. They do the job though, don't they? Yeah, I bet I've had it 25 years, so. Yeah. They're tough as old boots, though, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, it's great. Part of a few holes in it, but I've not noticed any as such, but it will no. have, no doubt. No, it's uh, they, they stand the test of time, don't they? Yeah. It leaks a little bit nowadays along the seam. Right. But it's not too bad. No. No, wrong I'm with that. Another one at some stage. I'm getting to sell a slightly bigger one. Yeah. And then just down there. I'm getting to sell one of them DD ones, a slightly bigger. Yeah, they're just just quite small, aren't they? Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, um, I mean, hammock camping, I'll usually put it diamond formation. Well, I was thinking that, doing that on mine tonight, actually. Yeah. Something it's different. More length on it. Yeah. So, just down there, Rick's, uh, it was in one of Rick's videos, actually, this, um, where he built the shelter. A good video. Go and check it out, guys. But uh, I'll take you down closer to it as the. Uh, the night goes on but yeah so that's that's a survival shelter and uh quite nice and um and cozy in there you were saying rick yeah yeah so it's basically just to keep you literally warm and safe through the night it's designed for not really having a sleeping bag or anything just it's just big enough for uh well yeah ideally you want them just big enough to get yourself in like an emergency so it warms up with your body heat yeah that's just big enough for me and Billy. Yeah. And I bet it does, I bet it is. I bet it's t like nice and toasty inside oh, yeah. there, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I was in it a couple of times over the summer and it was a bit, it was too warm over the summer. Too warm, yeah, yeah. Looking forward to getting back into Amit Camp. I've only done one. Yeah. Something different, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Coming to their own when you're canoe camping. Oh gosh, I can I can imagine, mate. Yeah. Because you're generally outside of lakes or the side of the uh, rivers. Yeah. That are always steep and on an angle. Well, that's it. You don't know, do you? And yeah. Quite often marshy ground. So, they're coming to their own. So I always use them in that uh, sort of environment. Yeah, because you just don't, you don't know what, what you're going to come up against, especially if you don't know where you're going. No. Do you know what I mean? No. And if you end up paddling for pitch black and you can't find anywhere, at least if you've got an hammock, you know you can always pull up and sling it up between two trees somewhere. Yeah. So I'm going to leave you watching Rick. He's, uh, he's just making us um, a bench for tonight. Well, I'm just finishing off setting up the uh, the hammock. Um, that's looking pretty cool, that mate.
Now I need to have a bit of something to sit on, innit? Oh yeah. Better than sitting on to on deck. On deck. It is there. Plus that little bench that for tonight mate, innit? Yeah, the job won't it. Depends what sort of material you've got around you, don't it? Well, It'd be nice to have some big, big logs, won't it? But well, that's it, isn't it? I think, it'll uh, be a job. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's very rare you come across some, yeah. some massive logs, isn't it? Yeah. So this is Rick's fire pit as well. Keep it off the ground, won't it? Oh yeah. Perfect. What a wonderful, beautiful woodland to be in this time of year. So we're literally knocking on Christmas's door now. It's uh, the 22nd of December and Rick's kindly invited me up to do a camp with him. So cheers for that buddy and showing me your uh, your stomping ground. <laughs> Get out with you again. Yeah it is mate, it's really good. Yeah. So I've not put him off. From day uh -huh. camp. <laughs> so that's the setup. Come for a kind of a diamond configuration. I've never done one of these before, but you're right, Rick. It gives you more yeah. bang for your buck, doesn't it? Really. Yeah, yeah. So it's a bit of faff for me because I've only put it up. I think I've slept in it once and put it up twice. So. It's been a bit of a bit of a faff, but I've got it got it sorted now. So I've done away with the bug net, and I've got the uh, East Hills Three Seasons sleeping bag, and I've put in um, a fleece liner just to keep it clean, really. And then I've got the under blanket under here, which is um, I think it's a one tiger under blanket. And I've also got an overquilt, which is a DD overquilt, but I don't think I'll need it to be honest with you, it's really mild. Right, Rick's just about to show us his bow drill kit actually. He's actually, he just made the bow um, just while we've been studying talking. Yeah, so bow drill wise, you've got your, uh, your bow, <coughs> and you've got your high, which you want about an inch thick. Right. Inch thick ish. I mean, everyone's it's personal preference, isn't it? Yeah. He's actually come off his blooming knot. Oh. You stay around here, Billy. Your spindle. Okay. Which a lot of people, you want it, it don't, it's not critical, but around thumb thickness, it don't matter if it's thicker, you could have it blooming a lot thicker if you wanted, but 
A round thumb thickness is a sort of good one to go for. Right. I wouldn't say any, any thinner than that. Okay. Because you're after the friction as well, so you want a decent surface area for the friction. Right. Good lad. You're in way lad. now, big lad. He is a good lad, eh? And then the ends. You want one end, this is the end that you're going to make your friction. So this one wants to be... So every time you've flat. used it, you yeah. take the blacking off, do you? Yeah, yeah. Or else yeah. you're just making a, a hard sheen across it and you, and you won't get the uh, the dust. Right. I'm with you. So you want to get rid of that. That's another tip then, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, so you want to get rid of that. We want as much friction as we can get. It's like a massive pencil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's going to be pretty blunt. And then your other end, this is where you want less friction. So your other end can be sharp. Oh, okay. And that's the end where you, you're holding you're holding the top end, are you? Yeah. yeah. And there's other techniques for getting less friction, like sticking a little bit of uh, foliage in with it. Yeah, I believe Some so. green leaves, uh, etc. Yeah, just something damp. Yeah, a bit of fatting and stuff like that, whatever. You just gotta be wary, it will drop, some of it will drop out and maybe land on you. Right. On your ice board. Okay. But yeah, so you wanna. Okay, yeah. Point it in, Billy. Good. Good. And I've got, I recently stuck a Olympic shell in that. Ah, right, I'm so, with you. Yeah. So that gives me even less friction. Yeah. So well, that's a piece of oak anyway, so that's a nice hard piece of wood anyway. So I've had that piece I of wood for say years. I've had that since, yeah. since I started watching for years. You've been using yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> ideally, I mean, we're not in perfect ground here, it's on a slope and it's uh, very leafy and messy. But, simply clamp that down. So you've wound length. it round a couple of times, have you? Yeah, well, just once. I've just gone once around. Okay. Pop that in there. Spin the long top. A lot of people lock their arm around this side. Right. You can do whatever. I quite often just put it on the inside. Whatever feels right for you. Yeah. And then I'm just going to build it up. I'm not rushing. I'm not putting too much pressure on it. I'm just warming everything up. Right, so you don't go all out just yet? No, just warming everything up. Can you see I'm on a bit of an angle? Yeah. It's facing back into the wood a yeah. little bit. Yeah, see that, yeah. Keep it going nice like that, just nice and steady. No rush. Can you smell it? I can, yeah. Wow. So nice and steady, just warming everything up. It's all getting warm now. Yeah. So I'm going to put a little bit more pressure on. Oh, we've got smoke. A bit more pressure. I like the dust now, I want to heat the dust. So this is you going for it now then, yeah? So we think we might have something there then, right? That's some go in that. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, let it get a bit of air. Wafting it for that little extra bit of oxygen. Mm 
See the embers starting to make. See it in the middle. Let me have a look. Let's just zoom in on it. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Let's pull that out. Oh my gosh, yeah. We've just had to swap this out guys for the uh for the light. Poor Rick has been holding that ember so that I could get the blooming light on it. I know I'm shining it right in his face. Right, right. Yeah. So basically what you're seeing now, everyone, is this a ball drill ember from start to finish. Oh man, yeah, look at that. That is amazing, mate. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Yes! Unbelievable. That is start to finish that. And now, that did not take long, did it? No. And that's, that's, from, that's in a damp woodland, guys. This is how skilled he is. <laughs> He's awesome. Yes! Amazing mate, absolutely amazing. We went with it, didn't we? You did. It's that long, did it? I just annoyed you by uh, <laughs> filming right in your face with a bright light. That is proper survival there. That is with nothing else, just wood. That is literally wood and a bit of paracord. And you've got heat on a damp day, damp winter's day. Like yeah. I say, 22nd of December, you know, it's not summertime where everything's dry and bone dry. This is, this is proper winter now we're in. And he's got a, a fire lit, literally from nothing. Awesome, man. I love it. I absolutely love this hobby. It's so good. So good. Yeah, the, the next step is just uh, instead of using that paracord, using some natural cord. Use, yeah, yeah. So, like root systems and things and like that. There's loads of roots around here yeah. which you can use. We'll save that for another video, Rick. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And they do work well, these roots. They do, yeah. Okay. That is fantastic. So uh, that is literally pumping. Look at look, that proves to you how damp things are. Whoa, look at that. I know. Yes. What a flame. That is beautiful. Good job, mate. That is that is top work. Yeah, we got it going pretty quick, didn't we? 
That is say, top it's work. Just, it's just technique. It's just knowing when to when to go fast. So you, know, you build up. That's yeah, the thing, exactly. isn't it? You build up. Just yeah. Technique. You don't. And that, you that don't. Much pressure to put on and the angle to hold it at and yeah. You don't go all for lever. Not to start. No. No. Your heat up first. Awesome work. Because you can tent. I mean, if you you can burn it out before it's you've built up your dust pile. Yeah. What you don't want to do is be creating burnt dust. No. What you want is a dust pile, and then your last 20, 20, 30 strokes, they're the ones that put the heat into it. Yeah. Which give you that ember. Yeah. Look at that now, that's roaring. Brilliant, mate. A great bushcraft lesson, that. You know that that I've, I've I've wanted to see a board drill in action like live, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And I've 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 seen it now. That's fantastic. And it is something. I mean, it won't. It certainly won't be that fast for me. But I'm hoping if I if I can get exactly get to that what's it called that stage. Yeah. Well, as long as you can light it to start with. What well, I mean. that's it. <laughs> well, it don't matter if you just get the blooming. Uh, the action to start when you start getting dust and getting it warm and then you just build it up yeah and then move on to getting your ember and then when you can get an ember all the time even that little bit of converting the ember to fire it can be a pain in the ass yeah unless you've got the right i mean that stuff how are we i was struggling a little bit it weren't it weren't for taking it straight away no well, i'm sorry you didn't see that guys because uh the battery died and the lighting was really bad so i had to swap out the mic uh, the microphone for the light so yeah sorry about that but it was literally only minutes what what you missed uh where it was rick just gently um guiding an ember to life really by wafting it with his hands so yeah by the time i'd uh faffed about and got the got the light on we had a full ember that's brilliant that right so yet again Rick doesn't stop. <laughs> he's just uh, he's um, rustled up this tripod. Are you all right? Just grabbing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull this in. Yeah. So we're just going. Uh, we won't get a brew on now. A well-earned brew for him. I tell you. <laughs> top work, mate. Absolutely <laughs> top work. Let's get I'm out. definitely ready for the brew anyway. How much water have you got? I've got plenty. I've have got you got two some? Litres, so we're all right. Yeah, yeah. We won't say. Yeah. I've got half another half a litre there. That should be enough for a brew, yeah, shouldn't definitely. it? Definitely. Right, we'll stick that lid on. And then get this baby on. Yeah, well, we were just talking about filming and things like that. It sometimes it's just good to just not do it and just chat and and chill out. But being that I've never done a Christmas video, I'd like to do definitely, it. Definitely. Definitely. So I've got me and Rick a special hat for put on. I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not going that far for a Christmas video. That. Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> oh, man. But he's going to uh, he's gonna sit back in a bit because I'm going to cook tea. Okay. Well-deserved uh, tea. So we've got steak on the go. Uh, steak, some veg. And we've also got some uh, Diane sauce to go over the top yeah. of it, so it should be quite nice, that bit. Sounds bob on. Yeah. So Sounds yeah, nice. that is looking awesome. I'm going to get a few shots of this while I'm we're here. Slow more, John. Oh yeah, why not? Good timing. That looks cool. Banging off some heat, that. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. That's what we wanted. So we've got some uh, proper good embers there. So when we stick the uh, the damp logs on, they should take quite easily and uh, should do us for a bit then. Definitely. A cup of tea, anyway. 
Are you bothered about skin? Yeah, mate. Should we just have skin and all? Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. bother me. Yeah. I'm just thinking, rather than bloody lose half of it to yeah. peel in it. We're just doing a potato now, and then we've got the carrots on the go. They read it. And then it's just a case of. Uh... <laughs> we have got a bit of Christmas here, Rick. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> wrong with that. Let's have that. Right. Now I don't know. I don't know about this. I've never had one of these with skins on. Have you? <laughs> yeah, that'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now really, we should roast this, but right. I suppose what should we do? Just put it in the pot and yeah. and boil it. Yeah. That'd be there we go, so we've got two nice steaks here. Two beef rump steaks, there we go, about yeah, that. What's wrong with that? That's uh, our. Right, oh, there we go, yeah, we're all right with that. We'll get them down our necks, and this time I will save Billy some. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got, uh, got onion as well here. <laughs> we'll get some of that in. Pop them in there for now. It's all right, that little candle, isn't it? Nice, isn't it? Yeah. So what is it inside there? Is it a real candle? Yeah, it's a um, nine-hour, right. um, nine-hour candle. But yeah. to be honest with you, I started making well, started making my own. Yeah. You know, I should do a YouTube video actually, because you can't buy them um, the right size for that. Right. So, um, what I did was used. <laughs> um, Toilet roll, you know. The old day. Yeah, the, you know the, the toilet, the um, cardboard. Yeah, yeah. And just shaped it to size, and poured the wax in and let it set. Right. That was all right, yeah, it worked. <coughs> so. Huh? Good way of doing it. Yeah, but it's like it, I think I think it works out about a tenner for three from them. Well, when you buy them. Yeah, and it's right. Quite expensive, really. I know they last nine hours, like. But, How much can you make them for? Uh, well, you just buy a rake of cheap candles and, yeah. and melt them down. Yeah. And you can you could probably make fifteen of them for right. yeah, yeah. for less than yeah. a fiver, probably. Oh, that's enough, you know, you? they won't last as long, like. Yeah. But. What do you use for wick? Um, wick. Basically, you know, um, what's it called? You buy it. Yeah, you can buy it right. and um, and just melt it into the pot. Yeah, yeah. So it's never directly into the middle, but yeah, it yeah. does the does the trick. Yeah, exactly. You know. So the tea is well and truly on the go. We've just uh, popped the parsnips on for roasting. Rick's just doing the onions. Even though I did say, listen, Rick, I'll do everything. You sit on your backside and I'll cook. And here's me now filming. <laughs> and then we've got we've got the veg in here. I think let's have a look. Oh, look at that! That's well going for it. Look at that. I think we can take them off boil in a minute, mate. Yeah. I think it'll be done. So yeah, we've just got it down to a nice uh, a nice heat with the embers. And just looking into the wood, it is literally pitch black. So good and relaxing. And I'll tell you what, I'm not cold, are you? No, not at all. Just right, really, me. Yeah, there's Billy, he's having his tea. Go on, have some of this steak as well. How do you oh. like your steak, Tom? Uh, medium rare, me. Yeah. So. We've got the steaks on the go now. We did have them on the grill, but um, it was taking a little bit of time. So Rick's come up with the idea we'll stick them in frying pan, and why the hell not? It means that we'll be eating a lot faster anyway. So yeah, the veg is ready. That's uh, just keeping warm there. And we'll get that uh, sauce on in a minute. Sorted. Looking good, that isn't it, Rick? Yeah, definitely. Whew. 
everything's that bloody wet at the minute, but it's, no. you know, it's like it's, uh, you, know, you struggle to get some big logs that are proper dry, don't you? you know. Well, I tell you what, he's done a cracking job there, it's got them going that now. Yeah. Well, we've just had our tea, so, well, uh, well we've had it a bit ago, we've had enough of brew. And we're just chilling out now, nice and warm, it's, temperature's dropped, it's cold. But I don't think it's that, it's not freezing. No, it's not right. You know, I bet you're still talking five, six degrees, I reckon. Something like that. Yeah. Um, but we're just chilling out now. Definitely feel that nip in the air now, though, can't you? Certainly can, yeah. Beautiful, innit? I like it. When nice. you walk away from fire, innit? Yeah. You feel know, when, you, when you, you don't really realise, and then when you go away, you feel it. Oh, yeah. yeah. My yeah. nose is feeling it now. Yeah. Right, well. I've not got the big uh, the big camera in because it's been a right old faff trying to get into this hammock. <laughs> it's took me ages. Uh, Rick's been having a laugh at me. <laughs> so he's down there, down that area. I'll just put the light on, see if we can see him. There he is, he's all he's snug as a bug in a rug, there he is. <laughs> uh, where's Billy? Oh, he's curled up under his blanket. Oh, nice. So he's all right, and uh, I'm just rocking myself to sleep now at the minute. Um, so yeah, we're all uh, we're all ready for a nice kip. So fingers crossed, we might get a little bit of rain. That'd be all right, wouldn't it? Pattering on tap, and yeah, this is the woods. If you can see, just uh, glance round. So we're in the uh, diamond config. I don't think I'll get rained on. I think it's not a bad setup actually. So we'll see what happens there. Right, we'll see you tomorrow morning. They said there'll be snow at Christmas And they said there'll be peace on earth But instead it just kept on raining A veil of tears for the virgin birth But I remember one Christmas morning The winter's light and a distant choir And the peal of a bell that Christmas tree smell and their eyes full of tinsel and fire They sold me a dream of Christmas And they sold me a silent night And they told me a fairy story Till I believed in the Israelite And I believed in Father Christmas Woo, man! Oh, I haven't got all that point not to laugh away Right, that's it guys, another camp is over. So thank you so much, pal. This is Rick's area, so uh, all this, he's got stuck in and, and made himself, like I say. We're, uh, we're gonna leave this up, because he's coming up with his daughter in the next yeah. uh, couple of days, so he's gonna have a bit of a festive time with, with his daughter, doing a bit of, uh, what is it, bannock making? And we're making things. festive bannock. Is, is that like bread or something? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. It's a Canadian staple diet from the old canoeing times. So right. So, we'll have a cranberry bannock. Nice. And uh, dip it in a bit of coffee. Lovely. And then chill out right by you. So, well, not, so it's uh, not exactly leaving no trace today, but... Uh, well, I, I, we were just talking about really that. Use it again. You know, it's like, this is his area of camping, and it's like my area where, where me and Charlie go camping. That's, that's up permanently. But, when we do move on, it'll all be yeah. taken down, and I'm sure it'll be the same here, won't it? Yeah, and if anyone starts 
coming here and using it and leaving rubbish and it'll be taken down straight away. Well, that's it. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it, 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 that's how it should be, isn't it? But uh, I just want to say thank you so much for everybody who's, um, who's subscribed over this, this past year. Uh, like I say, this is our little Christmas festive video. <laughs> um, but thank you so much. And the channel's it, it, it's, it's going from strength to strength and it's all because of you guys. So thank you. Thank you so much for sticking with us. And um, we'll see you in 2020. Nuts. Absolutely nuts, isn't it? Uh, all right. Thanks again, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.